John Dramani Mahama has been voted as the president of Ghana for the 2024 general elections, which took place on the 7th of December this month. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Nice one. Nice one. Hello. Hey, you. Uh -huh. For the very first time in our Ghana politics, history has been made that there was once a president that was voted out eight years ago but still finds his way back to the political scene to enjoy the presidential kick. And for the very first time, Ghana is going to witness a female vice president in the name of Miss Nana Opoku Ajimai. And we are hoping that for the next four years, they make this country economy suitable for us to also find our easy way through. What I can I say? But why do people? People vote for John Domani Mahama. Was it better off? Was he you no know, doing comparing what he did in the past with the Nana Abdan Kufaru's government? Was he better off? No. Both both political parties are corrupt. But people were just overwhelmed with what the MPP government did to us, bro. It was sad. The misembezzlement, the corruption, the the deceit. You know, they do a small project with outrageous amount of money. Recently, look at the e-gate. Go and check the amount of money that was spent on the e-gate. Just tablets and AI. That will see, you know, people's documents. And 250 something million. Look at the National Cathedral. Just foundation alone. It's sad. People were just overwhelmed with the MPP government. The lies were too much. The corruption were too much. And, you know, giving position to family members. Rather than people who deserve the position, it was just too much for Ghanaians to bear. That was the reason why they look out for John Domani Mahama because in Ghana we have the two dominant party ruling ever since. So, yes, that was the reason why people look out for John Domani Mahama for him to become the president. And I'm sure that he has learned his lessons in the past. So, this time around, I mean, he's not going to mess up. He only has four years, and after four years, he will be gone. So, I pray that he actually set up a legacy down so that people who are coming will emulate such legacy that is what we are looking out for and i think say he's also looking out for to do better because he has, he has apologized to Ghanaians for what he did to us in the past we are forgiving him that is why we are giving him another chance to prove himself right to Ghanaians okay but let's look at some of the manifesto some of the campaign messages that john domani mahama look out for Ghanaians are reacting, Ghanaians are talking, Ghanaians are asking questions. This is what Ghanaians are looking out for, for John Domani Mahama to come and do for us. First of all, one of the main campaign messages was the 24-hour economy. It tends to engage various sectors of the economy to engage in a 24-hour working shift. In this case, it's going to help increase productivity. And also, it is also going to help increase the rate of employment in this country the labor force will be employed will be needed people are going to work over time and it's also going to help put money into people's pockets but my question is how is he also going to work on the supervision because Ghanaians are not punctual Ghanaians are lazy especially when there is no camera or there is no proper supervision so people will go and work overnight just punch in their time go back and go and hide some place and sleep then in the morning they will just sign up and come back home how is he going to handle all these cases to make sure that yes productivity works at its cost what's the mechanism this is just my pop my unpopular opinion so just says that hello hey, you. Hey, you. Uh -huh. one of the campaign messages was also to stop illegal mining especially in forest reserve that is destroying our water bodies and also destroying our forest our trees we are just falling down trees left right and center all in the name of mining for gold mining for minerals he says that he is going to make sure that he put a stop to it and give them a concession where they can take on with their mining activities and make sure that it doesn't come close to the water bodies and after mining he will make sure that they cover up all the diggings that they did we are looking forward to see that and one of the things that Ghanaians are also looking forward to is to make sure that he bring all this corruption under the Nanan Budankwe Ekufado into law, into justice. What I say, the thieves, he should make sure that he jail them. He should make sure that they cough out every penny that they've swallowed. That is what Ghanaians are looking out for. 
and make sure that he work on the dollar rate very well. The inflation is too much. Also, we are just going to judge our two young forces. So, brother, be president. We now also about about be here, about be judge and quite. So, be judge and quite the are the panel. Yes, or she now we are We hope say the conditions in India. Yeah, he said the one that move the mobile. The pamacho. Mom brand, mom be my country. Any boko 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 my because he bring you to the bread. And one of the campaign messages was also to abolish the e levy, the demonic e levy, and also the betting tax. He says, "Say or bar, or we make sure that ten percent betting tax no obey if you honor e levy, you know, obey if you honor." And I think say these are some of the various reasons why Ghanaians voted for John Domani Mahama because some of them get it, 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 get that's when you start to eat your sack at home. When we need bed, I should say games. Ah, you do sa. What the kakra? So oh, tell you about to account to me on a power we back to go quack. You say you take ten percent out of the betting winnings that we win. We are there in the air. You say what panel? Obeba now. Obeba baby. So no man has to like what be ye every home am I gonna for because every money home. Bet now no be the end chop money. Bet now no be an ala ala because of betting, you know, you know, the crime rate has reduced. Because five city be a bit of a share the games like crap, a bit of a two hundred gana, one hundred gana, but make a queen movement into a cocoa buckle. No, I think this is hot Ghanaians are looking at for say, what banner, yes, so baby, yes, I know my way through honor. LGBT in the miniature say he's never going to sign. You know, they are only going to do delays, they are only going to take it to court, Supreme Court, and just waste of time. And go far with Biamba because our coco signing LGBTQ no bill no sister we are. Ebehano. Ebehano papa 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 papa. So we are looking forward to sending the NRD as a special account as MCC. But these are the major factors I think say Ghanaians a share here. I'm going to vote him on. And he also plans to encourage poetry, local um, breeding of poetry. So the baby, the baby die and go corner. He ain't poetry for bunting ever Ghana. Because this is the reason why I'm a akoko buying. Akoko should be one of the cheapest commodity in Ghana or or in 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 the whole world because it is one of the most consumable meat we have. But then, you probably are eating too much. Or say, or ban, or be jai. Say, or be man, or be import, and go call for a bunch of people. Now, you can say, 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 you can So, these are some of the major factors. Don Domani Mahama, or Dibi, or Mahin, it's just nothing new. You can say, but then, we are just overwhelmed with the MPP. People are just tied with the MPP. And they decided to vote out, vote them out and vote in John Romani Mahama because these major political parties have been dominant way back. Which I say, and you know, this is what John Romani uh, has for us. Congratulations to him. Bye bye. No, a book call. This one is too much for you to this channel. Kindly subscribe. Don't forget to put the bell on post notification. Peace out. Shemuha, dear Baku Pet, and Tina, yeah, but I, yeah, on yeah, former vice, yeah, former chairman. Uh, any hello, uh, you you say, yeah, you